Good afternoon, watch enthusiasts. This is OJ Watley coming to you live from What You Want. Before we begin talking about these exceptional Panerai chronograph watches, just wanted to remind you that if you like our watch videos, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc., so you can receive updates of our most recently posted videos on YouTube. Additionally, these watches can all be viewed on our website along with our entire collection of watches from a multitude of brands by going to our website at www.watchyouwant.com. So today, I have in my possession, for your approval, four exceptional Panerai timepieces, each of them a chronograph. And I pulled these four watches and wanted to show you all of them together so that we can compare and contrast four very different types of watches and types of chronograph movements. So you can understand the nuances, you can understand the functions and complications of each of these very unique and different chronograph movements. So on my far left, I have the PAM 162 automatic luminor chronograph. That was a pre-daylight circa 2003 production. Next to that, I have my PAM 212 Luminor 1950 flyback chronograph. Moving to the right, I have my 213, the Luminor 1950 Rattrapante or split seconds chronograph. And then on the end, I have the PAM 275 Mono Pusher Luminor 1950 chronograph. Now, the watch on the far right, the Luminor 1950 Mono Pusher Chronograph, also features an eight-day power reserve with the GMT. We're not going to be talking about those complications specifically. We are going to be talking about the Mono Poussoir or Mono Pusher Chronograph. But first, let's talk about the basic chronograph, the PAM 162. So what's neat about this watch is this watch features the 44 millimeter stainless steel Luminor case. And what's neat about this watch is it has the chronograph pushers actually integrated into the case and into the crown protector. Now, people would uh, later years complain that it made it harder to uh, essentially activate start, stop, and depress the chronograph pushers based on you know, them being so close to the case and partially uh, co covered by the crown protector. But for me, I've never had a problem uh, act activating the chronograph on this watch. So as a traditional chronograph, this watch features three subdials. The subdial at nine o'clock is the constant 60 seconds register. The subdial at three o'clock represents a 30 minute counter. And the subdial at 6 o'clock represents a 12 hour counter. So, in fact, this watch can time durations of up to 12 hours. And so, a true chronograph, your basic chronograph, you start the chronograph by pushing the button at 2 o'clock. And you'll note that if you hit the button at 4 o'clock while the chronograph is working, nothing happens. You stop the chronograph by hitting the same button at 2 o'clock. And in this case, we do feel, we do see why this watch was a little harder to activate. In either case, you hit the button at 2 o'clock, it stops the chronograph. You hit the button at 4 o'clock, and it resets the chronograph. That is your basic chronograph complication. Now we get to the flyback complication. In a flyback complication, this allows you to reset the chronograph while the chronograph is still in operation. So, we would start the chronograph by pushing the button at 2 o'clock. And again, most of the time when you hit the button at 4 o'clock while the chronograph is in operation, at least on a traditional chronograph, nothing happens. But in the case of a flyback chronograph, while the chronograph is in operation and we hit the button at 4 o'clock, it actually causes the chronograph to stop to reset and to automatically restart all with the push of that one button. It actually is a very complicated mechanism that allows the watch, the stopwatch to do that and that's why a Luminor chronograph is actually a complication that you pay a premium for. So moving further, we have the PAM 213. This is the split seconds chronograph and very much like the Luminor flyback, we can start the chronograph by pushing the button at 2 o'clock, and if we hit the button at 4 o'clock, nothing happens, much like a traditional chronograph. 
So this is not a flyback chronograph, this is a ratropont or split seconds chronograph. Now the word ratropont comes from the French and it means to catch up. And I'm going to show you in a second what the literal meaning and how this chronograph got its name, ratropont. So the way a split seconds chronograph works is it is actually designed to time two events occurring at the same time with different ending points. So consider a car race. Consider a horse race where you have two different horses or two different cars, or even in the case of cooking pasta where you're cooking two different pastas. What a split seconds chronograph does, it allows you that once the first participant crosses the line, or once the first pasta, for example, is finished cooking, if you hit this button at four o'clock, I'm sorry, if you hit the button at seven o'clock, right down here, what it does is it causes the chronograph seconds hand to actually split into two pieces, whereby one of the pieces freezes and the other pieces continues to rotate around the dial and keep time. And so what you can actually do is see exactly how long it took the red car to cross the line and how long it took for the yellow car to cross the line. And now you can compare the split lap timing or the split timing differential between the first participant and the second participant. Now here's where we get to the namesake of this watch, the Rattrapont. Right now the chronograph is not in operation. And while the chronograph is not in operation, if we hit this button at seven o'clock, it will cause the chronograph hand that's separated into two pieces to join as one. And essentially what happens is that other piece that froze catches up. Ratrapant, which comes from the French, means to catch up. And in this case, when you activate the ratrapont, it causes one hand to stop and the other one to continue. And if we hit this button while the chronograph is in operation, it causes that frozen piece to catch up. Hence the name ratrapont. Our final chronograph that we're looking at today is the PAM 275 Mono Pusher Chronograph. Mono Pusher meaning single button chronograph. Mono Poussoir as the French call it. So what's unique about this watch is there's not multiple buttons to start, stop, and reset. In fact, there is one button on this watch which covers all the operations from starting to stopping to resetting the chronograph. Now, on this particular watch, there's only two registers, one for the constant 60 seconds hand for the clock and one 30-minute 30 30 register for the chronograph. So, in fact, this chronograph will only time 30-minute durations. Here's how the Mono Pusher Chrono works. To activate the chronograph, I hit the button at, seven, at eight o'clock. It starts the chronograph. If I hit the button again, it stops the chronograph. And if I hit the button one more time, it resets the chronograph. Very elegant, very simple, and yet highly complicated. I'm gonna give you that demonstration one more time. To start the chronograph, I hit the button. I can allow that to run forever if I 